Yo, what's good? Jay Blanked here. We're going over the updated version of the web crawler. The latest version is version 0.4. In this version, you can not only send get requests like before, but now you can send post, put, and delete requests, and you're able to view the file directly on your Flipper Zero. So head on over to the official store and download the latest version, and make sure that you also flash your Wi-Fi dev board with the Flipper HTTP flash. Um, the links to both of these will be in the description. Um, I dropped a video going over the installation details and made it extremely, extremely simple um, so that even beginners can follow along. All right, now let's hop right into uh, the app. So people are like, well, what, what is this app? So it's, it's pretty much Postman for the Flipper. Let's hop right into it. And here we are, I'm on my flipper. Okay, so what's changed is now you can go into the settings and now you're presented with three different options. There's the Wi-Fi, just like before. Um, there is there's the Wi-Fi, SSD, and your password. Um, there is file, and here you can read the file, which you see the old file that I have here. Um, you can set the file types. You can change this to a .html, .whatever you need to change that to. And you can also change the name of the file. So this really allows you to customize um, the response and the and what the file or what the response is saved in. And then you could also delete the file, which is what we're going to do, um, so that we can ensure that this is working correctly. Perfect. Now over into request, this is how you can change the path or the URL. Underneath that, you can change the method. We have a git, um, post, put, and delete. You can change all of those. We will test git at first. Um, you can also set your headers. And then you can also set your payload. And this is for your put um, and your post request. Um, so we're going to use an example. Uh, I will include all four of these links in the description below. But with httpbin.org, um, you're able to test the different request methods uh, to see if you got the intended um, response. So we're, we will be doing this to Git and we will be using a Git request. Uh, and we'll see how this goes. We can make sure that the file is empty. We hit read file, there is nothing there. Uh, let's go. We'll go over to run. And what this does, it returns the headers. So let's go to settings, go to file read file and here we go it returns the headers any arguments you use the host pretty much all the information used to send um, that request so we can see that this worked perfectly there's our git request now we will do the same but we will again delete this make sure it's deleted great and now we're going to change this to the next one which is a post request so we'll go and get rid of that and change this to say p o s and save um, now this doesn't matter we just have these set as random uh, obviously you, you could change those but for our example we're just sending a post request and it's just going to return what we used those go to run now and there we go go back to settings go to file read file and here we go so notice that it is different and we can confirm that a post request was sent by going to the bottom and it should say the link slash, there we go, slash post. Boom, now let's go and again, delete the file again. Make sure the file is empty. Now you, you don't have to delete the file every time. I'm just doing it to show you that um, it does work and I'm not just um, showing the same file over and over again. Uh, so here we go, we have a put request, save. Change that to put, make sure I did that correctly. Yep, save, that's on put. We don't need to change those. Go back, hit run. And there we go, press back to return. And we go look at the file again, and to make sure we send a put request, it should have our URL plus put at the end of that. Yep, there we go, perfect. Uh, and then lastly, again, let's delete the file again, just to show you that this is working, beautiful. Now we're going to go to a delete request, delete, and we have to change this to say delete D E L E D E delete. 
save. Uh, and then the same thing, we just go and hit back, hit run. And then if this worked correctly, we should have a delete in the URL uh, file, read file. Go, again, we, we only return the key and value for the arguments and then the type below. Here we go, delete. Awesome, so this is the updated web crawler um, version 0 0.4. Uh, I do have some more future updates planned, so definitely stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. But before we go, I'll give you a small little preview into some other apps that I am working on that use this exact same Flipper HTTP library. Um, so let's go to repositories and let's first go over the Flip Storage. is a very, very basic review. We're not gonna go into too many details. Um, but with the Flip Store, you can download apps directly to your Flipper Zero by only using Wi-Fi. So I will open it up, but I won't, I'm not going to go too much into it because this is about the web crawler. But I'm just giving you a little teaser um, into what you can do with this new Flash. So we have the Flip Store, and here we go. Um, and again, you are able to download all of the different apps from the App Store. Oh, I got an error, let's do this one more time. GPIO, open this back up. And go back to flip store catalog, okay, and here we go. Um, so you're able to download all of the apps or any of the apps from the official app store and even as there are more and more apps added, you'll be able to go and download all of the apps from uh, the app store. Again, we're not gonna go too much into this. I have another video going over this in detail. That's the Flip Store. And then lastly, which you may have saw earlier, was Flip Social. Uh, and this is the first social media platform um, for Flipper Zero. Uh, we won't go into too many details with this, but one of the top features is to be able to um, pre-save and customize pre-saved text. Of course, the I would say the biggest L of the, the Flipper Zero would be the, the D-pad and having to type it in. So I came up with a system that allows you to customize some pre-saves um, so that you can send messages back and forth quickly. And this one, we definitely won't go too much into detail with. Um, but we will see what we got here. This is, I think it's only me so far because this app is not out officially yet. Uh, well, this is what you see so far as just me doing some different test uh, messages, but you are able to go and post and you can change your, your different pre-saves. Like, yo, it's, it's pretty lit. You can change your profile and uh, different settings you can go and change. And of course you can go uh, in and sign out. Let's go again. This is Jay Blank. This is the Web Crawler 0.4. We, we went over two new apps that are coming that also use the Flipper HTTP um, Flash. Let's go.